Hi, in this video we're going to introduce logical operators. So logical operators let us connect and modify Boolean expressions. The logical operators are not represented by an exclamation point or represented by the two vertical lines, those are on the right side of the keyboard, and and represented by two ampersands. So let's look at the not operator. So what the not operator does is gives you the opposite of whatever the Boolean expression is. So if x is true, then not x is false. If x is false, then not x is true. The AND operator. So the AND operator gives you a true value if both of the things on the side of the AND operator are true. So if x is true and y is true, then x and y is true. But otherwise, it's always false. So if one or the other is true, it's false. And if they're both false, then it's false. So the AND operator returns true only if both sides are true. Now the OR operator. The OR operator returns true if one or the other is true. So if they're both true, then X or Y is true. If X is true and Y is false, then X or Y is true. If X is false and Y is true, then X or Y is true. But if they're both false, then X or Y is false. So let's look at an example with the not operator. So say I declare a boolean called light on and set equal to true. You can see that our box holding that value is, is, has the value true. And then in the next line we say light on gets the value of not light on. So now in our box light on has the value false and light is off. What that not is really doing is, is switching the value that it gets whatever the opposite of what it had before. Let's go look at this in our code editor. So here I have a light switch program and I set light on to be true and then I print out the value of light on and it says true. And now we'll say light on gets the value not light on. So what we're doing there is assigning it the opposite value. So we're switching the light. So I will run this program and we'll see that it's true and then it's false. And we'll, we'll copy those lines and run that code one more time. And on here, right on line 15, it will get the opposite value again and go back to true. So that's one example of using the not operator. Now you'll get to write some programs using and, or, and not.